It looks like we have a lot of ice. A lot of ice. 30 degrees. It's also 21 degrees outside. Feeling like shit today. Getting sick. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of annoying. I just gotta get this out of the way here. I might need something to start breaking this shit up. It's too thick. I'm gonna cut my hand. I just need to get this behind my head gone because it'll obviously hurt. This one's gonna suck today. Filled it up a little too high, but it's okay. Today's the first day I was not gonna get in here. I did not feel well, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm sure being sick and doing this isn't the brightest idea, but I'm not full of many of those anyway. <sighs> Got legs today. Can't breathe through my nose at all. It's gonna suck, but gotta get through it. <sighs> Day 13. <sighs> These are only gonna get colder this week. This week's gonna get really cold. My body's numb. <sighs> Breathing's getting so much better. So mental now. face is tingling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's leg day. I don't know how I got this far, to be honest. It's one of those days, just not really really feeling it, but not trying to complain, but I just also want to be honest with you guys. You know, because not every day is gonna be blue skies and rainbows. 
You know, sometimes you got to push through. And today's one of those days. I'm just not feeling good. Not feeling good at all. You can hear it in my voice. Can't breathe through my nose at all. It's also freezing. I had bought a propane tank that the threads were stripped on, so my torpedo heater is probably only going to last maybe 20 minutes. It'll still run, but it, it won't really do anything. So once you hear a loud ticking, then we're kind of kind of there about that. So we're just going to get into it, have a very aggressive leg day, which is something I'm excited about, really pushing it. I threw in a bunch of high volume leg press sets. So I think we got three sets of 50 today. So we're gonna do leg extension, we're gonna do supersets, all supersets today, besides the leg press. So we're gonna start with, we'll do three sets. We're obviously gonna do our warm up, you know, our, our MCL, ACL, patella tendon and knee warm up like we do every leg day. I'm not gonna film it just cause you already know what it is. And we're gonna start with a superset on leg extension and hamstring curls. It's gonna be 30 on the leg extension, 20 on the hamstring curls. We're gonna do three sets of that back to back. And then we have step ups, which I'll probably do a little less than 90 degrees. It won't be as aggressive of a, of a step up as I did in Florida, just to take my glutes out of it. Uh, we're gonna superset that with standing hamstring curls. I wanted to do lying hamstring curls, but like I said before, we gotta do what we gotta do. So standing hamstring curls, then we have our three sets of 50 on the leg extension and then we are going to just do one more little superset same thing leg extension we're just going to do 20 and 20 leg extension hamstring curls so and we have abs we're gonna finish with abs so let's get started about 20 with this weight but A little heavy on the hamstrings. You can see I was uh, swinging a little bit, but I just need the intensity today. So if I got to swing a couple reps or a bunch of reps, instead of stopping, taking the weight off, putting it back on, I'd rather some sloppy reps and lose intensity. Hamstring curls are a forced contraction for me anyway, so I'm getting it. <sighs> Two more sets of this, can't wait. Sorry about the exposure. It's just getting brighter and darker.
even moving. Fuck out of here. The reason I'm using this pile box and not my high one, my high one is like here and I can't get that high. Now it actually probably goes through the roof too. So you can see I'm leaning a little more forward on all these just to put a little bit more tension on the quads. And me pushing the knee through is just a little extra explosive movement for the intensity.
Yeah. The leg pump is so good when you're walking. It feels like someone punches in the back of the knee. One of those. Oh, we're burning. Last set. Let's step up. the first workout of this program where the intensity is up to my standards. I'm just not stopping. Also, that's supersets, what comes with it, but I'm probably resting like 40 seconds in between each set. Literally, as long as it takes for me to push record on the camera, we're going. But we have our three sets of 50 on the leg press. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I might start with just four plates and see how that feels. And then after that, we have another super set of leg sets and hamstring curls, then our abs. Let's get it. I can barely pick up my legs. <sighs> 50. Hopefully I can count that high. Come on, bitch. Come on, come on. burning baby you know I bought a heart rate monitor watch just so I can check my heart rate for workouts like this but I don't trust it I just feel like it's bullshit I want to get like a real one I bought a cheaper one I just want to get like a Fitbit something that monitors my heart rate the whole time I don't want to have to hit a button for it to tell me what's going on so that'll be next as well as a sauna Still crew, who are you gonna be?
Ten more. Five. Holy shit. I can't move. I can't move. We're going back up. This is such a, holy shit, I can't talk. Such a tight machine. My range of motion is so limited because of the functionality of the machine. I'm so used to having my feet higher on a plate. Fuck, I can't talk. So like my range of motion, I can't bring my knees to my chest. That's not a good range of motion. So I got to kind of flare my knees out to get a little bit more depth. Just cause the limitations here with my feet being so low. Thankfully, it's not a lot of weight. It's just a lot of volume. So normally I don't let my knees extend past my toes visually causing my heel to come up and that puts a lot of pressure on the patella tendon, which I'm trying to avoid, but it's so light of a weight and so much volume that it's, it doesn't hurt or feel uncomfortable. It's helping me get a little bit more of a pump as well, but got to do what you got to do, right? I'm just happy to be here. Got to love the grind. This is the most my legs have been pumped up from any leg workout I've had in the last few years, easily. I might have to take my pants off and show you. <sighs> Let's go. Six more. Who are shaking? Get me out of here. Going heavy. It's more of a finisher. I only got so I did my my first super set with this <clears throat> with two plates on. I have a plate and ten pounds on. So really just gonna take my time and really pump these cards up <laughs> if they can be pumped up anymore.
sir. How can you not love it? See, this weight for hamstrings is probably more how it should have been. So. I don't know if these are gonna be as nice, slow, and pretty as the extensions. I'm freaking dying. That's our leg day in the book. Thankfully. Now we got some abs. So I'm just gonna do pretty much one circuit, but it's gonna be non-stop. It's gonna be three sets, but non-stop. So I'm gonna do a plank, side plank each side, 30 crunches in the middle, and then uh, 20, uh, whatever you wanna call them. You can call them whatever you want. I'll call them heel touches. It'll be more of a one, two kind of thing. So let's do that. Another thing is too, I was like so about the clock out of this workout and I just wanted to push myself. And I literally struggled so long. I think it's, so this is a faster workout. Fasted means you're still you still haven't eaten from the day before. So I like to do that for my workouts and cardio as much as I can with the supplementation of L-carnitine just to really maximize my, my fat loss and my fat being used as an energy source. So it is 12-12, which is insanely late in the day for me. I'm talking, I got up at 7-10, which is usually when I do my cold plunge and just felt, found a bunch of excuses. I wasn't even gonna do it. I just didn't feel good. And then I ended up doing the cold plunge at eight. Still got it done. And I intended to literally go change, take my carnitine and come work out. And that just never happened. I literally just tried to think of so many of the excuses of why I can't do it today. You know, sick, being sick is one of them, not being able to breathe through my nose, but unfortunately I'm used to it because I can't breathe through my freaking nose anyway. But, I intended to already have my post-workout shake and my first meal done, and I haven't done either of them, and it's noon. So hopefully I can get this ab workout done in the next 15 minutes and get chipping away at that, because that's where another thing like I, I struggle with is time management and just trying to, trying to get all my shit in when I'm supposed to. And you know, procrastination becomes a weakness, and unfortunately that's one of mine. So got to get better at that. But let's get to these abs. I can't take no loss, huh? I don't even know what it 